Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's call on Beyond the Ordinary Show. And it's so great to see you all on here. I'm loving that we are doing these calls on video now from time to time. Um, to get this type of interaction, there's an intimacy that I felt wanted to be had. And there's one person named Debbie that's waiting to jump on the call, and I bet you that's probably our speaker. Um, so April, if you can admit her into the call, please, that would be wonderful. And let's see if we can find Debbie on here. Debbie, are you there? Let's get Debbie on. And again, we'll get Debbie on the call here in just a second. She should have had to post this link to dial in on. I'm um, here. There I'm you here. Are. Hi. All right. I'm here. Hello. Good to see you now. Hello. Oh my God. This is so exciting. Debbie, your video went off for a second, but I'm sure we'll get that. Um, we've got to is see you. Yes, you're back. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Great. It's so good to see you. My heart just jumped it left, it left off my, off my chest. Oh, uh, yo, this is so exciting for me. Hi, Debbie. Yeah, it's awesome. And I love the video. I think it's the best, the best idea. <laughs> well, I love what's coming in and everybody that's on the call, there's still some more people that are, that are joining the call, but y'all are in for an amazing treat. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just true. It's most of y'all have probably experienced my calls with Debbie in the past or Debbie's call with me and depending on whose audience you, you typically follow. Um, and it's always so special for me. It's, it's fun. It's expansive. We tend to build each other up in the most beautiful way. And what comes through, it's just, it's like I somehow pick up off of Debbie's ability to perceive that it amplifies mine. And so the experience just on the BTO call is through the roof amazing. But then now Debbie's live on video. So y'all get to see her on video. And she's got a couple of things for us that are really special. Uh, we're gonna experience Debbie transmitting through her crystal bowls also. And I'll let Debbie explain in a second what we're gonna receive from there. Um, she also has some updates about what I'll call current world events that um, I think are really beneficial for all of us to be aware of and deepen into and what our part of um, all this is for each and every one of us. So again, it's gonna be an amazing call and I am just thrilled to have Debbie on. And if y'all aren't familiar with Debbie, I'll share my personal experience other than it's just a freaking amazing interview. Uh, I've had every time Debbie comes on the show, I get a personal reading. I'm like, I'm the first person to buy a special offer, at least one of the first people I think. Um, and I get my sessions and they're so profound, so uplifting and just so clear across the board for what's coming in, what I'm ready to receive, what might be holding me back, uh, things that might trip me up in my journey along the path. Um, Debbie is so spot on and, and Debbie uses her intuitive and psychic abilities. She connects with the angel guides. She connects with your angels or the deceased past ones. And Debbie, you also have the ability to go in and actually to heal certain ailments or to bring a certain resonance in that allows people to transcend through physical and emotional issues as well. Is that true? Well, yeah, that I'm able to see what the spirit needs and then ask the angels to clear it or heal it or be specific because I can see where the block is, whether it's emotional or physical and just ask angels, please release it and mm. channel it. Yeah. So amazing. So again, we're going to get, y'all will get to witness some of Debbie's work doing it that way as well. So we're going to take live Q and A. So if you have a question uh, that you want to ask Debbie, um, a short question, we can't get into full private session, but one question that Debbie can dive into for a little bit, we're going to try to take as many live calls as possible today. So if you want to ask her your question, you can type it into the chat box at the bottom of your screen if you're on a Mac. I'm not sure where it is on a, on a PC. Or you can raise your hand also 
on the screen. And I believe the tab on Zoom to raise your hand is on the top right hand side. Uh, it says raise your hand, or I believe on a Mac it's Alt Y. And no, on the Mac it's Alt O. And on the Mac it's, um, oh, let me rephrase that Option Y on a Mac and Alt Y on a PC. PCs throw me off now for some reason. Um, but again, it's with this introduction and with my just my giddiness of having Debbie here, my delight um, and joy that she's with us that um, Debbie, I want to welcome you officially to the show. And um, again, and on this special video call and would love it if you can start sharing perhaps with the insights that you've been receiving that you want to share with the audience today. Thank you so much for having me, John, and for doing this on video. I think it's an, an awesome way to connect. Um, so I've been, like everyone else, in the middle of the quarantine and the coronavirus. I'm in Miami. And um, what I've, I've asked the angels to help or ask for advice to, to share with everybody to help with this. And what I've gotten from them is that on April 13th, there's a significant good news announcement about what we're experiencing. And they also said by the end of May, it's completely contained or, you know, kind of back to normal. But there's a significant message, I guess, from the government or a finding with the coronavirus that's good news. And we'll see our way out of it. Um, another thing I asked the angels, I was like, what can we do in the meantime to help kind of maintain low, you know, keep our anxiety low? Because anxiety is the one thing that lowers your immune system. And the main thing I got was cell phone. And one thing we're doing more than ever is we're on our cell phone because we're, we, you know, a lot of us are at home and we, we not our jobs or we're quarantined and we're on the phone more than normal. And the angel's like, this is, this is the thing that's going to lower your immune system the most right now, believe it or not. So at least if you can, turn it off at night. There's an, like, just turn it all the way off at night if you possibly can do that. I know some people can't, but if you can, that will actually help you rest better than you could, Im than you could imagine. There's something also changed with the frequency on cell phones. I can hear it. It's higher, it's more irritating um, I noticed it probably about a week or two weeks ago. The frequency is different on the cell phone or whatever it's emitting. And I can feel it in the body. It's more of an annoyance in the body. And this will help with that. It'll also help with the anxiety. You can at least turn it off while you sleep. Debbie, that's huge because what I've been noticing also with my cell phone, and I upgraded to the new cell phone about three weeks ago, four weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I've had like this frenetic type of relationship with my phone lately. And it's, it felt like there was a different, something got changed in the frequency and I couldn't tell what it was. And I knew it wasn't me, but there was something that kept me like in this frenetic type of connection with the phone somehow. And I've noticed that I have to make a very concentrated effort and it feels almost addictive. It feels like I'm deep, like don't take my hit away from me. Um, type of energy truly and yeah. it's it's been slowly where I can pull away myself more but for about a week there there was such the constant looking at the phone it's just it was it was frenetic it was fiendish if you will uh, what's been coming up and my body was responding to it with anxiety with nervousness um, with a sense of disconnection but trying to be connected which is so interesting yeah, I can hear, I can hear frequencies and that's, that's how a lot of times I'll hear angels is through the frequency and the frequency of the phone is different. I, it's just a different, free, it sounds different and that's the best way I can explain there's been a shift and it's not good on the, uh, the physical body. So I, I just think it's better 
uh, it will help our immune system. The angels say it would actually help our immune system to have periods where you're where it's off. Mm, that's it's wonderful. Easy. That's great advice. And again, that's just so aligned with what I've been experiencing personally. That, that means I'm, I'd love to compare notes with you also, um, because I've been here. I've been here for about four months. That something major was like I. It's like wait for May. Wait for May. Wait for, and I didn't know why. And it was before any of this started coming up. Again, I started hearing that around December, January. Something is shifting in May. Something huge is shifting in May. What's your sense about that? Again, you heard the message that in May it'll all be clear, but you think there's a wave of consciousness that perhaps is adjusting to the current events, or is there something else perhaps that um, you might be aware of? Yeah, well, when... When I kept seeing I, around around January, February, I kept seeing the stock market. I didn't see the virus. I saw the stock market going nuts. And I'm like, why is it going like a ping pong ball till the end of May? And basically the thing I saw in the end of May, it's almost like, like things settle down and we have a lot of peace, but there's a lot of correction a lot of correction like things that needed to correct even in our own lives you know not just in in business and in the world but you know we're gonna be put in a place where you know how can i change my life we're gonna want to make changes like say if this we were gonna lose everybody what would we change now it's it's making people be more authentic i see a more authentic everything that's what it feels like yeah, there's a lot of clarity in that. And that's actually what I have felt in the field also is, and, and just the awareness that, and I heard it this morning, it's, it's time to feed the hungry. And it, was, and it was completely metaphorical where this personal development work that we've done and awareness that we have that leads from this place of love and, and clarity for that benevolence that we want to share with others in the field that we're being called into our leadership of what we carry and to share it, it may be vulnerably, but it's really powerfully um, with others. And what I've also understood, and I got this this morning, is that first we have to feed ourselves. And so this quarantine time, this integration time that we have is us taking that nourishment, us taking all these things that we've studied, we've practiced, that we've worked on integrating and to start really nourishing our whole being because it's gonna be time uh, to share that much more authentically than we ever have before or transparently and vulnerably than we ever have before. I love that and I agree 100%. I, I think this is a time to really reflect and, and do that. And it's going to, the way people are taking vitamins right now, we're gonna have a lot, everyone's gonna be healthier. So I think people are going to eat better and be more conscious of what they put in their bodies and not waste as much. It's raising consciousness. Even though it's a detrimental event, it's raising our, con we're more aware. We have to be. Yeah. And what does that mean for Gaia as well? For, for Mama Earth as we're all going through this? What are you seeing is um, being purified um, from the field in the way that we've been used to, excuse me, in the way that we've been used to consuming and, um, and sharing our resources with, um, with the earth. I think we'll take better care of Gaia. I think this is raising the consciousness and how we treat, uh, you know, the earth. Absolutely. It's precious. I mean, we need it. It's wonderful. It's so exciting. It's again, it's, um, it's interesting times of what's happening. Um, but it's also, there's a lot to be hopeful for, and that's really the message that you're receiving. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, and it's also coming to, it's not, it's not permanent. You know, when we're in it, you feel like it's forever, but it's coming to an end. You know, I see, I see that it's going to be returned to normal and, and kind of an abrupt normal, you know, or an, like abrupt ending too, in a good way. Yeah, it's tearing off the band-aid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which is wonderful. Well, Debbie has a special gift for us today. She's going to do something she hasn't done on Beyond the Ordinary before. Um, and I'm really excited about this part. And after, excuse my headphones, keeps pulling up. I may just rip it off here for a second. Um, 
And then after we go through that, we're going to open up the line so um, we can take Q&A from, from Debbie so you can ask your personal questions. So we'll dive into the crystal bolts. And if you want to ask your personal question, you can type it into the chat box or you can raise your hand on Zoom. On the top right hand corner, I believe there's a box where you click on where your video is and you can raise your hand. Um, or you can press again option Y on your Mac or alt Y on your PC to raise your hand as well. And Debbie, before we get into the bolts, I want to, um, we'll get more into the special offer in a little bit and I've already kind of mentioned it. Uh, but those of y'all, if you know that you want a reading with Debbie, uh, the special offer is always extraordinary. It's Debbie comes on just so much generosity to gift us her time to be able to read for you and to give the messages that the angels are ready to share with you. Um, when you show up in this relationship with Debbie. So that's available. If you know that you want to take advantage of the special offer, get on there now, save your place and get scheduled early. Um, and again, we'll go deeper into the special offer a little bit later on the call. Um, and Debbie, is this a good time to get into the crystal bolts? Yeah, I think, I think this is perfect because we just talked about what's going on in the world. And this is, to me, sound is the most powerful and the fastest way to receive healing. And I wanted to play tonight um, three different crystal bowls. And I'll tell each of you, each one, before we do it, so you can actually feel it in your body. And to do it live, I think it's more powerful, personally. And thank you, John, for letting us do this. Oh, yes. I, think it, I think it's extremely powerful to do it live. So we're going to do it together and feel it together. So the first bowl, and I'm going to step out of camera for a second because if I'm too close to the mic, you, you won't hear it like you need to. But the first bowl is, is for the adrenals, and it's for the first bowl is for the adrenals and the immune system. And this is to release anxiety. And you'll feel it in the lower extremity. Debbie, we're hearing it a little bit. Can you hear it clear? Just a little bit. Can probably get a little bit closer. Better? That is better, yeah. Better? Okay. Sorry. It's very light. It's very, um, very soft. Still soft? Mm -hmm. It is. Okay, it's too soft. Hang on. Let me think of how I can turn up. Hang on one second. Sorry, guys. I want you all to hear this because we can feel it. Yeah, turn up the volume. Uh, we can hear we can hear you a little bit louder. Yeah. Then, yeah. Is that any is that any better? That's definitely louder. Yes. Okay. Great. Okay, let's try it. So the adrenal ball uh, clears any blockage of blood that's not flowing to the adrenals, and it also releases. Cortisol or stops cortisol from releasing. Great, that is. That is? Yes. Okay. And this sound you'll hear in the lower extremities. Feel in the lower extremities. All 
right. The second one is for the immune system. And this is the, this crystal ball is for the thymus, which is just above your heart. So you'll feel it in your heart and in the thymus area. The upper body. Can you hear that, John? Oh yeah, it feels wonderful. Yeah. I'm gonna play this one a little longer. It's for the immune system. And feel free to go louder on it. Okay. Third one is to seal it. This is the ohm, universal ohm. It seals everything, it seals everything we just did. And feel free if you want to ohm yourself, say the ohm. You'll feel this in your entire body. John? It's a little bit softer than the last one, so feel free to that. Yeah. Oh yeah, much better. have a higher frequency that raises your vibration just by hearing them even if you heard it a little bit it worked <laughs> thank oh, you I, John. Could, I could feel it yeah thank you so much yeah. for that um even on the first one the tone was a little light i can feel it working on the adrenals and calming down that nervous system and that's one thing that i've noticed um tremendously over the last week is my adrenals were acting up and my body was getting tired in ways that that felt heavy and that I haven't felt in, in quite a while. Um, and we're doing a lot of we're doing a lot of collecting processing, which means we're feeling a lot from the collective. But whatever individual work we're doing, I, my awareness is that we're doing so much more work than we're aware. Yeah, yeah, we are. It's affecting so many, and I know I know you have a keen awareness about that, and and the the far reach of our energetic um, transmutation that it has on the people that we surround ourselves with, and our consciousness, and the different dimensions actually that they reach into. Uh, so it's amazing, Debbie. Let's get into Q and A with the audience. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Let's do it, guys. Okay, so again, anyone wants to raise their hand, um, you can. Tap on the screen where your picture is, where you see yourself, where your name is. Uh, click in the box and raise your hand to get on there. Or if you're on a Mac, it's um, option Y. If you are on a PC, it is alt Y to raise your hand. And we can take the questions if you type it into the chat box as well. And I'm going to go with a live caller first. Let's go to um, Shirley. I'm going to go to you first. How are you, Shirley? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. It's great to see you. What's your question for Debbie? Well, my question is about finances because I've had some real letdowns <laughs> recently with all this that's going on. Um, 
I had an event that canceled and my J-O-B, I was laid off from that this week, my regular job. So I'm just wondering what the angels see me doing and if there's something holding me back from getting my business going. Well, I saw 444, Shirley, and that means nothing to fear. I honestly don't feel, and this, is, this includes everyone, I don't feel things are shut down long enough to do permanent damage. I think it's a shorter shutdown than we're anticipating, honestly. And I feel like your event is rebooked or redone. It, it's going to be rescheduled. I don't think it's done or gone. I think it's going to be rescheduled. Something oh, okay. Said, oh, go ahead. This, it's okay. I know there's going to be another one in July. Yeah. yeah. Or there's a reschedule. Pardon me? There's an event that's rescheduled. Okay. okay. There's a reschedule. And the one in July will be fine. 100%. Okay. Doesn't it feel like you need to change jobs? Stay, just stay, just stay still, and it'll recover back where you were. That's what I feel for you. Do you see, how do you see my business going, my healing business? Because that's what I really love doing. I heard in one year. Give it a year. Okay. Keep doing yeah. it, and in one year, it's where you want it to be. Ah, okay. I do keep seeing 444 four, four everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what happened? Shirley, thank you so much for calling in. Thank, thank you. Shirley. Absolutely. Now, what's, and this happens to me personally, also, Debbie, as I start getting into that uncertainty and that doubt, the impetus is to want to do something about it right, to want to fix it, to want to like get into some type of action mode and fear sometimes feels like action and yeah. and I'm I keep remembering to go back to my practices to what I remember that trust within myself that trust in God that we're so loved that we're being taken care of and so not to be in the to realize that I'm in reaction mode have compassion and love for that reaction um, but to be with it rather than allow it to take action that's great. That helps to reset the field, right? It's, it's amazing. Um, yeah, and, yeah, and fear is so much louder. Fear is so loud compared to that small little voice inside. It's, it's much quieter than and fear is like this, rah, it's so loud. So it's good to get quiet again and go back to that small that voice we have inside. Well, and what I get, Debbie, as you're saying that is fear used to be louder and we're actually changing that. We're flipping it as we go through this transition, right? <laughs> oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. That's uh, what I'm calling for. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or we understand it more and we, we, got a, we got a better hold on it. That would be great. Exactly. exactly. That's, what, that's what I keep saying. Um, <laughs> All right, Debbie, we have a question that came from Christina, and Christina writes, Hi, Debbie and John. Our daughter, Luna, four years old, has recently been seeing black angels who are quote-unquote bad. I do air quotes. I did. I apologize. Um, and they really frighten her. Is there anything else I can do to help her um, or maybe other children through this journey she is on right now? And this comes from Christina, who's in France. Hi, Christina. Um... That's an awesome question, and it's awesome that you are a parent who get kind of gets this energy because it can help nurture your child seeing something on the other side. What I like to do is, first of all, ask if it's not of the light, you know, if, if believe what they see. First of all, believe that they see that. Whether you get it or not, believe them. Second of all, ask the angels if this being or whatever she's seeing is not of the light, remove it or take it to the light. If she continues to see it, then it is a light being that she might not understand. 
So a lot of spirit guides, you know, they wore face paint and or you know, they could look different, but they're still good. So first of all, clear the energy and then ask her to, you know, tell, what do they look like? You know, really ask a lot of questions and get, uh, get into it with her. But if they're still coming back after that clearing, they are of the light and there's, there's more to be understood, even if they don't make visual sense. Wonderful, that's great on that. Um, yeah. And Martha, I'm gonna ask you to mute your microphone on your end, you came up. Um, Debbie, do you work with kids that age also and with the help of their parents to see what's coming in? Yes, I've had several parents come with children who are seeing things or having night terrors or being, you know, different experiences that are kind of scary or scaring them. And there's always a solution. Um, that's why, to my understanding, the angel realm is more powerful, or actually what, I, what I've seen is they're more powerful than any other thing on the other side. They kind of run that realm so they can handle anything. Wow, amazing. I wish you were around when, when yeah. I was, I wish there was someone like you when I was a kid and my parents would have been awake enough to find you. Um, <laughs> again, I wish and go through the experiences because look at where we are now, right, as well. Yeah. Um, all right, let's go to another live caller. Um, let's go to, I think it's Jean, Jean Sophia. Or is it Jeannie or Jeannie? Yes, it's, it's Jeannie, yes. Yeah. So pretty much, hopefully this is one that also can arch over everyone. I felt a little bit stuck as far as, um, stuck, but like what is my next step to get a little bit higher in the ascension, in the improving me? Because I can say, I can't complain about, my, I've got a good job and this and that, but I look out in the world and I go, I'm not satisfied because I don't feel I've, I'm connecting, at, like when I hear John speak, I hear Debbie speak, it's like all these people connect and I feel a little bit like a lump of clay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm not connecting. <laughs> you, I, I heard you connect through sound. You can connect really well through sound, like doing mm. the own everything by your, you know, to okay. yourself. Like do it as many times as you want and okay. go, take you where you need to go and take okay. you out of your out of your head it, it's it's a way for you to meditate yeah gotcha that'll help interesting you. i was working with someone and i was doing we were doing singing like and he's like oh i felt all this healing in my head so thank you got it got it i'm good, <laughs> yes, I'm good. thank you <laughs> Thank you, Jeannie. Um, what do you get around this, uh, Debbie? Because it's it's coming up for Jeannie, and there's, again, as conscious as we think that we are, all of us at some point we get into comparison, which takes us into not enough, and like we're not doing enough, we're doing something wrong, where it's like, are we going to be doing it better, or we never did it right to begin with? Um, what's the guidance that that you can give to? all of us that as we go through different waves of this? Well, we can't compare ourselves to anyone really, except who we used to be and who we are now. You can only compare yourself to who you are and who you were. Comparing ourselves to someone else, we do, it's, it, it's, imp it's actually impossible. Mm -hmm. And even with healers, healers are like a thumbprint. Every healer is unique and has a unique gift to give. There's no healer that's identical. There's no person that's identical. There's no path that's identical. So you really can't compare except where was I last year and where am I now? That's the best way to look at it. Right. Wonderful, wonderful advice. And again, Jeannie, thank you so much. Um, all right, let's go to a question that came in from Janet. So Janet, writes that Tuesday night she had a meltdown. She started crying uncontrollably for several hours and just didn't want to be here anymore. Um, mm -hmm. It lasted through Wednesday. She had a healing session Wednesday afternoon and she said that she was feeling despair, but it was more mass consciousness and not hers. Um, 
Janet wants to know, how do I prevent this from happening again? It was so terrible. I would, I would, yeah, Janet, I understand that's empathic and um, she's definitely an empath. So one tool that is really awesome that angels help with, with empaths is to release what's not your own. So you'll be just going through your day like Janet and all of a sudden she got this overwhelming emotion. Angels release what's not my own. If, if you get a sudden emotion or sudden physical sensation that wasn't there five minutes ago or an hour ago, ask the angels to release it. If it goes right away, it's empathic. And I really picked that up on her and that could help her again if she starts to get a wave of it, ask the angels release what's not her own. A lot of us are empaths and it's a tool. It's a way to know what uh, what's going on around you, but it doesn't have to drown you. It's like, go ahead and feel it. Okay, angels, thanks for that info. Now take it off me. Thank, thanks for the info, I got it. Now remove it from me. That's a lot to handle. Mm -hmm. And I love that you said that, Debbie, because that's so important because we don't want to feel it at all. But sometimes it is for us and if we can pick up and discern what is for us and let the rest of it go that's important to just bypass and say i don't want to feel this at all would really be to sidestep what's coming up for our own transformation what wants to love us into more love and so that's just so sage of you uh to say it that way and bring that awareness and thank you yeah, that's a good way. I like that, John. It's a good way to separate it. What's mine, what's not mine. And then you, what you're left with is your own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so powerful. All right, we'll go to another live caller here in a second. Um, question from Christina, and she's given us a basic one. Um, not basic because it's big, so I don't mean to diminuate it. Okay. In form. Um, but Christina writes, um, she'd like guidance on how to move forward in her job. Well, I saw a seven for Christina, and seven means you're on the right track already. It means your, your current choice is correct. Your current idea of which way to go is correct. And I saw a woman pull her in, so she already knows a female that could actually help her right now. She's already in connection or speaking to them. And I saw blonde hair, a blonde woman who could actually or gray, no, they're saying blonde. Blonde, pulling her in. Awesome. So Debbie, when you work with people, and, and I already kind of know the answer to this because I've worked with you so much, um, but when you see things like this, um, do you typically see things that are long way out or they're fairly close energetically time-wise? Um, what's your gauge as a psychic intuitive angel communicator with timing? Timing is tricky. So I'll see stuff. This is the feedback I've gotten because angels really don't have time. Time doesn't exist to them. It, it's all now. Everything's now. So what I've, what I've seen or the feedback I've gotten is some of the things that I see are immediate and they're faster than I thought they would be. Hmm. And then other things are pushed out further. And the only thing I can, I can grasp around that is that the angels think everything's now. So it will appear to be now. To them, it's now. Mm -hmm. It already is. And again, my experience of my sessions with you, that regardless of what my ego or my will, what my supposed will wanted to bring forward in the particular timing, the information that was shared really was empowering in a way that it does like allow the nervous system to calm down. It gives it like something that you can feel the resonance of truth in the readings. And in that resonance, there's something, there's an, a new invocation of confidence, of knowing uh, that gets stimulated as well in our ability to create what it is that we're striving towards in that future moment that we want to bring into the now. Um, so really what you're, what you're visioning or what you're tuning into it's for me, it already starts materializing because that impetus has been created 
through a calmer field rather than a field that's trying to search and grasp onto something that it doesn't know quite what it is. Thank you, John. And the angels, the angels know. They'll they'll say things, or Hello. I'll just repeat what I hear. Oh, speaking. Oh, Kathy, can you mute yourself, please? Oh yeah. Hi. <laughs> Let's see if we can find Kathy and mute her on the phone. I'll. There she is. All right, Debbie. Um, the the angels give me words that actually resonate with what your soul already knew. So that's where you get the calmness, is your soul knew that. Your soul knew. But it's, it's almost like it's unbelievable, some of the things your soul knows. And it's just like hearing it exterior valid validates it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes sense. I love that. I love that. All right, let's go to another live caller here. Um, and I love seeing y'all on camera. So if I call on you, if you don't have your camera on, if if you're decent enough to turn your camera on and you're <laughs> properly dressed, <laughs> I love the turn it on. <laughs> it's a PG show here, most of the time. <laughs> let's go to Harmony. Harmony, a name like that, how can I choose you? Hi, John, and hi, Debbie. Thank you for taking me. Welcome. Um, I um, had a reading with Debbie before and it was um, wonderful. Um, so I'm happy uh, I had a chance to ask her again. Um, so the past few days I've been feeling, um, I've been feeling um, like um, a strong surge of um, being disdained and uh, like underestimated and uh, looked down on. And today I talked with other two fans of mine um, and I went right through the conversation. I really feel like the strong, uh, like look down on me, uh, kind of feeling, and I feel very disconnected and uh, and uh, a little bit of anger. So um, I don't know where that comes from. And I try to clear it, but it it seems that it hasn't uh, really gone yet. And it seems that it's a very deep issue for me, like the kind of humiliation. I'm not sure if. Uh, uh, if it is a past life issue uh, or not, and uh, how can I clear it? Thank you. Hi, Harmony. Um, the, I'm getting kind of, it's a combination. So it's like 50% is empathic. Mm -hmm. And then the other part is fear. Just not like there's some fear there. Um, and the angels can clear both if that's okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to ask Michael to release what's in, what's not your own. Oh, okay. Harmony. That's great. And also, yeah, and also release her fear and raise it to faith and trust. Um, something you could use that would help you, Harmony, Michael can put a shield around you and you can say, may only love enter, may only love enter. Mm. And picture yourself in the blue shield, which is the same color, like that indigo kind of blue of Michael. Mm. Picture yourself in that shield and may only love enter. And you'll feel your vibration go up. You'll feel your thoughts start to shift too. And anyone listening oh. can use that as well. Oh, I see. That's wonderful. Thank you, Debbie. Harmony, thank you for calling in. Thank you, Harmony. And y'all, as you have your readings and everybody else, we're going to run a replay of this call so you can come back and listen. And sometimes when we're asking the questions, we can get kind of out of body or lost or whatever. Just, you know, come back and you can listen and go deeper. I know I love listening to my replays of my sessions with Debbie. Uh, I get so much when my mind relaxes a little bit more and I'm more relaxed to receive and to listen um, because during the sessions i'm always so excited it's like what's coming next and what else and uh, sometimes i tend to be two steps of myself um i had two steps of myself so it's it's good to listen to the replays um we're gonna take more questions but since i'm talking about the readings debbie let's have everybody go to the special offer page and april do me a favor type in the link into the chat box so that everybody can click on it there 
Um, but to get to the special offer page, y'all, um, where you access this call from on the Beyond the Ordinary Show dot com forward slash live, um, underneath Debbie's beautiful picture, you'll see the special offer box, and you can click on that special offer button right there. April just typed in the link here in the chat box as well, or you can type into your browser Beyond the Ordinary Show dot com forward slash Debbie. 21 D E B B I E 21 and it'll take you to that same page so you can take advantage of the special offer. Um, and Debbie, tell us what, tell us what you intend to, cause I can tell about my experience about my sessions all day long. I love them. Um, but what can people receive? What can they ask? Um, what benefits, um, have you seen your clients receive from these sessions with you? Oh, wow. Um, well, they, they last 45 minutes, but sometimes they feel like they're only 10 minutes. They feel really short because we're both in an altered state during the call. Um, and a lot of the information comes from the angel realm, but also loved ones in heaven. I call them human angels. They'll step in and they see you, they watch over you, and they have a lot of information for you. So. I would say a good percentage comes from loved ones. And those of you wanting to connect with loved ones, it's a really good way to feel, uh, feel them and kind of know they're in the room. They'll often describe the room that you're in so you know that they're really there or they'll give details of, you know, about themselves so they confirm that it's them, things that I would know. But, um, it gives you a lot of peace to know that they're communicating and they're doing well and they're right there with you and they really never left. Um, and as far as healing goes, if anything like that shows up, I ask the angels to help, you know, clear it and move it out of the way. And any kind of health issues or, or like supplements or things that I pick up to give you clues to move forward with your, your path. It's amazing. So again, y'all get a 45 minute session with Debbie, which again, it, every time I hang up with Debbie, it never seems like it's long enough time, but that's a whole different story. Um, yeah. yeah, 45 minutes yeah. goes by really quickly, but there's a couple of things, other things that are offered in the special offer. And Debbie, I know it's the third item, but you're doing past life regressions of Archangel Metatron. And I've been so guided into past life regressions. I told you I've been having sessions past life regression so y'all are going to get a past life regression um it's an mp3 what do people receive in this debbie this this mp3 i i i made it so you could do it over and over and basically you go into the mp3 with an issue so you have a current life issue and you go in with archangel metatron and the meditation it's, it's a guided meditation and the problem that you're having in this life, you get to see why it's why it's occurring and what it what it happened in the past life that's causing it to re if it has a past life root. And also Metatron will clear the past life so it no longer interferes with this current lifetime. And this can be done over and over with different issues. It's amazing. I love it. It's so synchronistic with what's coming up for me. And for me in this and these regressions, Debbie, I get that we're at such a harmonic, all of us, um, because of the different events that have raised their frequency and the work that we've been doing, that those soul aspects um, that may have splintered off because of whatever events happened, they're ready to come in because we can hold the field that strongly now. So this came up yeah. hugely for me. And the fact that you're offering this in your special offer. It's just so synchronistic. I had no idea and I'm just so happy to see this. So again, this is included in the special offer with the reading and then Debbie, we get into um, you and music. It's just a whole nother level of receiving from you. Uh, Crystal Bowl Soul Healing. So what do people get here? This is, well, you'll be able to hear it very clearly better than the live Crystal Bowl, but it's, it's, a, it's a healing that goes deep into the soul. It goes really well with the past life regression because that's also the soul path. 
and you know the akashic records the history of our soul so this goes in and heals the piece you know that maybe is it needs healing or whatever needs healing in that time this can also be used over and over you know if you've got some deep deep stuff coming up and even uh, one of the callers just asked is that past life it's reoccurring it's reoccurring a lot of times um, the past life stuff is deep in our soul and this will help bring it up, heal it, and then you can do the past life regression. They go together that way and kind of dig to the root and get rid of it. Yeah, amazing, I love it. I love Debbie's special offers. And again, the private sessions are one thing, but she, again, she adds these other components on there that if you're waiting for a session, they're great to practice. Or if you've done a session, you're, again, you're just, it's all there to serve you. Uh, this is fantastic, y'all. $137 uh, for the session and these past life regression, the soul healings. Um, there's a two payment option that you can take advantage of. And again, Debbie's really generous with a calendar and opening up times um, for you to book your sessions. So I hope that you all take advantage of it. Um, and again, to do so, click on the special offer button on the live page. Um, you can get to the live page by going to beyondtheordinaryshow.com forward slash live. Uh, April typed in the link on the chat box or in the chat box. Maybe you can type it in one more time, April, so that people don't have to scroll down to find it again. Uh, you can find it in there or you can go to, if you want to type into your browser, beyondtheordinaryshow.com forward slash Debbie 21. It'll take you to that same page and just add it to the shopping cart. You'll receive a link to schedule your session you receive the download links to start working with the soul healing, the sound, and the past life regression. So super exciting. And thank you, Debbie, for this. Um, and I can't wait to book my session. I'm going to do it the second we hang up. Um, <laughs> hey, it's, it's already booked. Ask April to buy it for me. So it's a done deal. Uh, it's just a question <laughs> of when, uh, which will be fun for me. Um, and Debbie, let's get into some more Q&A if you're, if you're open. Let's do it. All right, Debbie's open for business. Let's go. Um, Let's go to Jean. It's it's a Jean day. Um, Jean. Hi, welcome. Hi, John and Debbie. Jean's one of my Jean. favorite people in the world, Debbie. I had to pick on her. <laughs> I, I always tell John, I go, you never call on me. So this is my chance. <laughs> What's coming up for you, Jean? Yeah. Um, well, I've had something and it's just today, I had somebody else on, in a group that I follow said so they had the exact same thing where I've had a lot of pain in my right hip and lower back. And I felt some other weird things just like this year going on in my body that seemed different. And usually like I have no pain and I feel different. So I just want to see if you see something um, that is related to that. Did you... Was it sudden, Jean? When it did it come on suddenly? Um, fairly, but I'm, I'm not going to say totally suddenly that I noticed it, but it, it kind of got worse. It's like this a real tightness. I've been doing a lot of yoga, um, hip stretches to try to, and that helps. I heard magnesium. Do you take magnesium? Uh, well, I was taking magnesium, but I quit. Um, because I, <laughs> oh, I, I, I quit taking it because I was afraid. Cause some of the other changes is, was that I was afraid it was making me have looser stools, my magnesium. So I, I quit taking it. Try, uh, try the spray or something not as strong, um, uh, like a magnesium spray if you can. You still need the you need magnesium. The body's mm -hmm. showing me acid buildup or one of those rollers. I see a physical like lactic acid. <laughs> I'm smiling that because <laughs> I know where that I know where Jean just came back from, and it makes sense that you have that buildup. You just oh. came from a big yoga retreat, right? Oh, your muscles are tight. Yes. <laughs> And you <laughs> but I had this before I went, though. Okay. But the la the lactic acid's building up. Um, the the roller, those rollers work really good with that. Yeah, I have. I bought the roller balls. I do have those. 
Wonderful. I would, I, that's what I'm seeing. I'm just seeing a buildup of lactic acid. That's I, I don't see anything chronic or wrong as far as, yeah, that's all I saw, which is good. It's simple. It's a simple fix. Right. Well, thank you. Thank you, John. And, uh, all right, Jean. Great talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. Uh, she, she's yeah. so wonderful. Okay, let's see. We have a question that came in from M. Um, oh, I hope I can say, I'm going to say your last name anyway because I only have M on here, or maybe you'll know her as M. Uh, and if you need the last name, Debbie, I'll give it to you. She writes, so much love for you, Debbie. Since our last session, I've decided to stay in New York and in this new relationship. Do the angels have any guidance on this choice if it's, if it's for my highest good? Oh, and she writes, her name is Mandy. Oh, hi, Mandy. Well, before I knew exactly if it was her, I saw clapping. So she's doing the right thing. The angels clap sometimes when you're going the right way. I saw clapping for her. So 100%, she did the right choice. Ah. She made the right choice. Yeah. There you Good go. Good job. <laughs> I want to ask you about a dream I had the other night, but maybe I'll save that. Um, let's okay. get to another caller. Um, <laughs> so amazing. Um, let's go to Lynn. Oh, thank you so much. Good to have you here, Lynn. Hi, namaste. Hi. Can you see me? No, if you want to turn on your video, we'd love to see you. I don't know. How do I do that? Click on the box name? where you are. There's like three Click on what? Can you, see the, can you see your little box with your name in it? No. Okay, never mind. Anyway, sure. Debbie, I had a reading with you. I'm so excited you called on me, John. Thank you. Um, Debbie, I had a reading with you, and I'm still perplexed by it. But anyway, when we talked, um, I said I saw my father's eyes. That's not me. Who's ever in there? That's not me. That's not okay. you? Okay. That's okay. not me. Anyway, I, um, anyway, um, I told you I saw my father. And I've been studying and reading and and uh, praying and now I know what that was about and I want to write a book called Through My Father's Eyes. I've been through a lot in my life and I want to know what the angels said about that. Through My Father's Eyes and chapters of my life, chapters of my father through the book. I have two different fathers. I have a biological father and the father that brought me up. And the, the father, when I went to the mission reading at church, I saw my father, the father who brought me up, and I saw Jesus through his eyes. It was amazing. It was so awesome. He had been through a lot in his life. Did he have blue eyes or which father yeah, had, he had, had blue eyes? Yes. Okay, there's blue eyes staring right at you, and they are you are channeling or bringing information from from. Blue eye, I see blue eyes. Yeah, that's who the information's coming from. So go for it. Yeah. I, I saw Jesus through his eyes when I was at church. It was amazing. The other question I have, if you don't mind, if you could be so generous with me, namaste, is I don't... We'll get to one more question, Lynn, and then we'll go on to the next caller. Yes, please. Thank you. Is the reading you gave me, you told me I'd meet a man with an M in it. And we'd be going very south. I don't understand any of that. I don't get it. What did the angels say about that? Is that still on or? They're saying it's still on. It's still on. So have I met that happened. man? Have I met that man? Not yet. No. Not yet. I haven't met him. No. Okay. Namaste. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you, Lynn. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so sweet. Um, oh, so many questions come in. Um, okay, let me take another live caller so I can read the questions that are coming in. Um, let's go to Kimmy. Kimmy, welcome. Hi. Hi, Kimmy. Thank you for picking me. Um, I'm really concerned because my daughter is had some health conditions. She is in um, Honolulu. And since UH is not um, continuing classes, I don't know if it's wise to bring her back 
um, or leave her in Hawaii till this blows over. Uh, my mom's also in Honolulu, so I don't know if I should leave her with her or bring them both back. And I just, you know, with their health conditions, I don't know if they should go through the airport or not. I heard wait. Every bone in my body said wait. They gotta wait. Not now. Not now. Thank you. That's what I was thinking too. It's just really hard to tell her that. Well, no. the information and Debbie's amazing, but I heard the same thing also. It's like, no, it's not. Oh, possible. thank you, John. And you two are so beautiful to look at. So uh, thank you for this. Well, Debbie makes everybody look beautiful. So. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kimmy. Ah, all right. Let's go to a caller here um, or someone who wrote in. So this comes from, uh, excuse me here. This comes from SM. She writes, I had a session with you on December 30th and I was supposed to go for my pregnancy this March, according to the reading. However, now because of situation, I am not able to go. Could you please help me here with a message from the angels? And I'm not sure okay. what it means for the message for the pregnancy, but I'm sure you probably understand. The, yes, and um, thank you so much for writing in. The, Anything that's delayed right now because of what's happening, there is a divine order to the virus, you know, why everything that's being delayed, it's supposed to be delayed. There's a divine order to it. If, if this is being delayed because of that, there's a reason. There's a, there's a specific reason. I just, I can't stress that enough. With everything that's being pushed back, changed, or delayed, there's a reason that winds up being a better way. So something better will happen because of it. Hmm. It's still happening, but yeah, there is gonna be a delay. Have, I've had delays in business and things that I wanted to do and other things that I didn't know why they were gonna be delayed, but I knew that I had to delay them. So like last September, I thought I was gonna do a live event in May. And I kept hearing it's not the right time, it's not the right time. And but I kept proceeding, and then I just had to stop it. And I stopped it like four months ago. Like I, I started in September, and by October it fizzled out. It's like nope, it's not happening in May. But now I know why. I had other things that I was supposed to start. It's like they, they just kept kind of getting stalled. Um, and I get, and again, that might have something to do with that May message that I kept hearing. Like something's going to move forward differently. Um, but so many of us are having those kind of start stop type of events happening um, for things that we want to create or put out into the world or um, bring to fruition. Yeah, and it, it doesn't mean they're not happening. A lot of times it's timing now. So if something's being delayed or pushed back, the angels know, they know what's going on and there's a timing, there's a divine order in the timing. There's a beauty to why it doesn't happen when we want it. We don't see the big picture often. Angels can. Okay, wonderful. Uh, August for her. August. Yes. August. Wonderful. It, you know what? I typically don't make this about me, but I keep getting guided to ask you about the dream that I had last night, and it might serve everybody on the call also. And by the way, it's full permission. I'll be wide open book. Um, yeah, I don't have any qualms about holding anything back. So last night I had a dream where I was supposed to catch a ride with some people to go to an event and they kind of ditched me. It's like they wanted to go. There wasn't enough room. I was just like, you know what, forget it. I was just going to find my own car and I'll go. And I was looking for my white Range Rover. It's like, I'm just going to go find my car. And I went to go find it to where it was. I thought it was parked, but I hadn't been to that car in so long that I couldn't find it. So I kept you know, clicking on the emergency horn and I'd kind of hear it in the distance and kept going and I couldn't find this white car. I couldn't find this white car. Um, and the whole dream I was searching for it. Then I went to another parking attendant and I thought I was getting closer, but I wasn't finding it. And then the parking attendant started leading me. She thought she might be at home, but she just took me further away from it. It's like, no, this isn't right. Um, what are you picking up about the dream about maybe the message that was on there? Oh, I love this. Okay, so car represents your soul, like your body, your body. Mm -hmm. So you're, and, and it's like all these people are, are exterior, John. All the people around you are exterior. 
you know, the people that took off and kind of left you or the people, the, the woman guiding you. But the whole time you're like, oh, this doesn't feel right. Or you're, you kept going back inside of you. Mm-hmm. It was just a message. Keep trusting you no matter what's going on outside. That's so and beautiful. You'll, you'll get closer to your soul. And the white, the white, the, the white car, and that's like, to me, that's like your soul. Like you'll you'll get you knew she was going the wrong way, the, the parking attendant. You're like, no, this isn't the way to my soul. It's the other way. I, I, you knew inside. Yeah. And I love that right? message. Yeah, it's so cool. And I love the message because I knew that the car was the vehicle. It's like, it's my vehicle. So the way that you explain it makes sense. And the white for me represents spirituality, the consciousness, the clear, the clarity that comes through. So um, that confirmation and the explanation is for me, but for y'all as well. Where do you know you're knowing, but we reach outside of ourselves for somebody else's confirmation or or maybe thinking that they know better and they lead us somewhere that's not really in alignment where we're, we want to go. It's more in alignment with their, wherever they are and their projection of what they think is best for you based on what they're receiving at the moment. Um, so it's such beautiful confirmation, Debbie. Thank you for reading it that way. Um, okay, let's go to another caller. And guys, a reading with Debbie that includes 45 minutes with Debbie, which is amazing. You get the, um, the soul bowl healing with the crystal bowls it's if you have not heard debbie singing or playing the bowls it is it transports you um and then the past life regression with archangel michael um is included in here as well and that's something that you keep going back to over and over again with a specific issue and clearing lifetime after lifetime and for me again i've been hearing past life regression soul retrievals are huge right now because of where we are in our collective consciousness and our individual work that we're able to access um, that information and integrate in a way that we couldn't before so amazing package 137 dollars two payment option and again i hope you guys invest uh, and gift yourself uh, this time with debbie and those sessions Um, you know where to find on the special offer page and there's the link here in the chat box as well Um, Debbie, let's go to a question here that came in from Kara. Kara, it's Debbie. Oh, excuse me. Debbie, you saw the color blue in my reading in January. Is this referring to a baby boy or a new job? Or what might it be referring to? And again, it's Kara from someone that you read for in January. Okay. I'm, I'm, I won't remember what I said in the reading often, but I'm going to ask them now what I meant. Um, Someone in heaven saw blue near her. It was it was a loved one was with her and saw blue. Someone was with her and saw blue. Someone was with her and saw a blue uh, blanket. So that is someone in heaven is telling her that she there's a ba- there's a boy. Someone in heaven's telling her there's a boy. Yes. Interesting, Kara. If you want to type in and see how that and respond how it feels to you, well, we we can come back to it. Um, Debbie, do you get that she's having a boy, that a boy's coming into her family, that a boy's trying to have a message, a boy in her life before is having a message? When a loved one sees uh, like a blanket or a color, uh, like pink or blue, it means they see a baby coming. So this means a baby's on the way. I don't know if it's hers or a family member, but it, it would be a boy. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. And Kara just wrote, yeah, it's intuitively what I felt. Um, <laughs> wonderful so good awesome. um, does my oh okay oh i love this oh whoever wrote this question about your biological dad we we type in your name so that i can um we can probably um give the message to debbie so we'll get to your question in a little bit oh here we go michelle so michelle writes hi debbie does my biological dad have any message for me you channeled him for me in January and told me cigarette smoke um, is him. And I smelled that in my bedroom last week. I smell it now. So I he's around. Wow, her. So yeah, he's around her. <laughs> he's around her now. Uh, I see black and white. So she might be near the colors black and white. He's right in the room. He, he's, he's, wanting to let you know he's around he's watching over you 
it's it's he doesn't really have a message except that he's around you okay um and there's another family there's other family members with him that he's with she writes i have those colors in my bedroom um that's where he is that's his location black and white wow wow are they coming to her for a particular reason? Do they feel like she needs some more support? She's a little worried just to... He's coming like out of love. So just around her, watching over her. It felt like watching over her. You know? Okay. Make sure she's okay. I'm here. Comfort. Beautiful. He feels he's very loving. It's very loving. Positive. Okay. Michelle, so powerful. Again, I could, it's like the smoke, it's... Not even could smell it, but it almost like it's like it, it affected my breathing a little bit. It was amazing. It's like, you know, when you're around smoking and you just kind of breathe, it's the same. It's so, and it again, around Debbie's, like my intuitive capacities always just seem to get amplified or we just pick up on that resonance together. It's like, so cool. Um, all right, Debbie, let's take it. It's to the, what is it, squared? It's squares. Our power's square. Our <laughs> 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 Uh, so cool. Um, all right, let's go now to, have I called them Diane already? I can't remember. Diane, are you there? No. No. Hi, Diane. Diane, are you there? All right, we'll come back to you perhaps. Or here we go. I'm going to unmute you, Diane, one more time. See what happens. Yeah, it's not letting me do it. Oh, wait, Diane, there you are. All right, her mic must not be working. So let's go to another live caller here. Let's go to Marsha. Marsha, welcome to the call. Can you hear me? We can, yes. Hi. Uh, Debbie, you and I worked together in the end of October, November, and I just wanted to tell you that you gave me three pieces of information, all three of them. Um, we're <laughs> dead on, <laughs> probably the wrong way to say that. Uh, <laughs> I know, uh, there was a health issue, which I think has already been resolved. Uh, you said that there would be some unexpected money coming. It came to the tune of six figures, um, and a couple of other little things. So just thank you for that. I have a practical question tonight. My adult daughter and her son have been getting their house ready for sale. In the last week or so, they thought maybe they shouldn't put it on the market, but instead they have decided to put it on the market tomorrow. And I'm wondering if um, that sounds like a good idea timing-wise. Believe it or not, my logical mind wants to say no, but the angel said seven on the right path. There's, they should sell it right now. I heard well, that, that's, that's, that's what we came to yesterday. The logical mind was all of us were like, Ugh, and yet it was like, yes. Uh, do it. And they haven't, uh, they thought they'd sell it before they start looking um, so that they don't own two homes. And I said, well, maybe you sell it and then you just rent and give yourself time and not feel pressured into buying something you don't want. They're, they're trying to move to find a house that's uh, more suited for their growing family. So, good. It's the right, it's the right choice, Marcia. Yeah, it's not logical, but it's the right choice. The angels are not always logical. <laughs> <Woo -hoo>. <laughs> <laughs> I, will logic. I will certainly be signing up for another session. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Thanks for calling in, Marcia. Thanks, John. Mm -hmm. ah, so good. All right, since we're on the gene kick today, let's go to Ruth Jean. Um, oh my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my God. I'm, I'm pick up again. I, I, I wrote too. <laughs> I'm always, oh my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, John. Debbie, good to hear <laughs> and, and, and connect with you again. I wonder if with this coronavirus is 
Palm Spring move is still possible, and if Dan and me would still met. And this morning, I, I guess I'm going to shoot multiple questions here. Let well, well, but, Jane, question. actually, I, I want to do something with you for, for all our benefits, because I want all of us to be able to drop into uh, the transmission that's going to come through for you, but somehow we all heal through it as well, or it all calms us down. So I just wanted to like drop in with you and just kind of slow all of us down. And why don't you get into the one question that you really want to ask and let's build from there and see how it flows. This morning, Benjamin Franklin, you know, the $100 bill <laughs> was smiling at me. I don't know what that means, Debbie, John. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's a positive message. That means you saw something that you needed to see. That's positive. Okay. <laughs> Everything's still happening. Everything's still happening. That that it it's just and yeah, it's still a good idea. And nothing's changed as far as the plan. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Debbie, is there anything that you, that the angels perhaps want to share with Regine to like really help her like get grounded in her energy to have that trust, that faith of um, of what's transpiring? Well, what what I felt is she knows it's the thing with the fear being louder than the voice inside, and the the fears. The fear can be loud, like we talked about, we're hoping that it can change and it's, it's the quieter voice and the intuitive is, is the louder voice. But what I feel like movement, hiking outside is really good for her to get grounded, to kind of quiet the fear. And for everyone else, any, you know, when you're in a lot of fear, do whatever takes you to get out of your head. Is it, is it a walk? Is it um, music? Is it uh, doing the dishes? You know, whatever it is that gets you out of your head and is, is gets you out of the thinking. Because the angels are not there. They're here. Mm. They're here. And Ruth Jean, you, you said you had several questions, so I'm going to ask the next question for you. Debbie, I get the feeling that there's a loved one for Ruth Jean coming in uh, that has a message. Maybe I'm off, but I just kind of had that intuition. Well, no, you're right. Her father's with her. Her oh, father's yes. around her. Okay. And, and she, she is being totally protected and totally taken care of. I just, I just feel nothing to fear. A lot of times when loved ones come in, I see 444. It just means a human angel's present and her dad is with her. Mm. And for anyone that's, it, as our loved ones do surround us, if we have a connection that we feel or that guidance from time to time, I just want all of y'all to drop in and, and drop in to, to whoever that being may have been in this incarnation for you. I know that they're with you. And just here, I love you. I love you. I'm here with you. I love you. And rather than the message that is very myopic to try to solve a situation, receive that love. Receive that love and that you'll take with you forever. That will never transpire. That is what will bring you peace and the connection that you're looking for. And so connect to your father with Anne. Anybody who's looking to connect with a loved one who has crossed, those of us who feel that love surrounding us from a mother or father or grandfather, or grandmother, brother, sister, whatever it may be, connect with that love and allow that guidance, that vibration, lean into it. And remember that that's what we're ultimately looking for anyway. And that'll guide you the whole way through, through whatever anxiousness or fear that you might be feeling that's fleeting, that love is not fleeting. Once it's given, it can never be taken away. Yeah. That's beautiful, John. Yeah, it's just, I was guided to share that with everybody. And we have Patricia on here who writes, are there any messages from, for me from my dad? He's already passed. 
Well, I just saw your, I saw him smile. So when the loved one is not panicked on the other side, when I see them relaxed, it means they're not worried about you. You know, if they're worried about you, they'll be running around like frantically trying to get my attention. Like, no, 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 something's wrong. But he's obviously calm and relaxed about what's going on with you. And I saw him at the ocean. So I don't know if that was, uh, that's, it feels like he's happy about her being at the ocean or he is at the ocean himself. He's standing, he's showing he's me an image of him standing next to the ocean and there's waves. So it, it, it's, a, it's a good place for him or her. I'm not clear yet. She would know. She would know what that message meant. Okay, wonderful. Again, I love how you tap in. Um, all right, we have a question that has come in. Actually, I'm gonna, someone's calling from their iPhone and that's all it says is iPhone. So I'm going to unmute you and see if we can figure out who you are, but I'm highly guided to- Oh my God, is it me? It is you, welcome. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. <laughs> this is actually oh Michelle. Hi, Michelle. The one with the smoking dad. <laughs> oh, awesome, okay. <laughs> I just have to tell you that it was so strong. I started spraying my bedroom with all kinds of like lavender oil and stuff. I was like, what uh -oh. is this? And then it hit me at the end when it wouldn't go away that that might be what it was. So thank you so much for confirming that. <laughs> oh, wow. That's awesome. And I see the colors in your room, black and white. Yes, there's the black and white. <laughs> it's right next to you. That's yes. Awesome. <laughs> when we had our reading, Debbie, you read blue, and I thought it was just the carpet that was under me. And then I realized when I got home that I was wearing a blue turtleneck. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, the, a lot of times we're in an altered state. You are too. We both are. And it's yeah. like, what? I don't do anything blue. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. Um, Michelle, thank you thank so much. And I wonder what that says for your intuitive abilities to be able to pick up on the smell so strongly. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Lately, I have felt a lot more connected to my little intuitiveness. Um, for instance, even when you guys answered that question about whether the daughter should stay in Honolulu, from the moment I read it in the chat, I said, they should stay. They should both stay. So it was weird when you guys both said the same thing and I was sitting here nodding like, yes. <laughs> It doesn't come from the judgment, you just know. It's like this body absolute just, just comes in, yes. It's just, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's so, amazing. Uh, Debbie, what can someone, well, what can all of us do to foster that intuitive, um, the intuition that's expanding within us because it's expanding within all of us uh, in different ways? Believe it. The best thing I can say is follow it, believe it. You can, you can test it out yourself. It's kind of what I did when, when, you know, when I first started like redabbling from being a child and go back into adulthood and this stuff started coming back. I had to test the water, try it out, and then follow my intuition. And if I did, I was always like, oh. And then when I didn't, I had to learn, oh, I should have listened. So it's, you can save yourself a lot of stress just listening to it. Or you can test it and not listen to it and see what happens. But that, believe it, believe it. Mm, beautiful. Michelle, thank you so much for thank you, raising Michelle. It. So glad to call on you. Oh, this is a great question. Um, okay, Ruth Jean, we're gonna get into your question also because I'm just compelled for this one as well. So it's Ruth, Ruth Jean again, and she goes, thank you so much, Debbie and John. My fear is that because my father was such a womanizer, but I know that he loves me uh, dearly too, uh, that other men are like my dad. I have a, a big fear around, and she's not putting this in, about letting men in in that way. That is exactly why he's watching over her. He's watching over you to make sure you don't meet someone like that. Ah. There he knows go. what that is. <laughs> <laughs> a skunk knows a skunk if we want to judge it as one, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm watching over that. <laughs> uh, so wonderful. I get Archangel Michael's watching over her also, and that's a whole other thing. Um, interesting. 
So we have Colette. Oh, Colette, happy belated birthday. Colette writes, I turned 72 Fridays ago, retire in less than two weeks, and I don't have a solid plan for going forward. And I'm fully trusting divine source. No, am I fully trusting divine source or am I being stupid for not having a plan? Hi, Colette. I just, you don't have the plan yet. You're totally not, you're, it's like when you don't have the plan, you're supposed to wait. Instead of making yourself have a plan, you're, you're doing the right thing by not really having a plan. You will have one. Angels say you'll have one, they give me a five. So that's within five months, there's a more clear plan for you. But right now, making yourself have a plan, it wouldn't go with the plan, if that makes sense. Making yourself have the plan wouldn't go with the plan. I love that. <laughs> it's like, yeah. that's, been my last, that's been my last year, not my last three years. <laughs> so I get that one really well. And Colette writes, makes so much sense. Thank you. Uh, it's so good. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to take another caller here. And um, before I do, I want to remind you all of Debbie's special offer. 45-minute session, the past life regression module that you get to use over and over again, and the soul sound healing, the crystal bowls, all of those for $137, two payment option. Um, book your session with Debbie. Get into those singing bowls. Um, Again, I've been highly guided to do past life regression personally, and I've reached out for, um, for some guided journeys in that way. And I just get that it's an amazing opportunity right now. We have to bring ourselves to wholeness, to um, dissipate fear, to bring back strengths that what we once had that we thought that we had lost that are ready uh, to have a relationship with us again. And so it's, I think it's a fantastic offer. Um, that I highly encourage you to dive into. So again, the link's in the chat box. You can get to the special offer page by clicking on the special offer box on the live page where you originally clicked on the Zoom call, or you can type into your web browser beyondtheordinaryshow.com forward slash Debbie 21. And Debbie, I want to take another caller here. It's, um, I'm not quite sure what your name is. It pulls up as Altsurf Alts, on the line. Hi, <laughs> it's Allison. It's my last name is Lucerf. So, oh, Allison, welcome to the call. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you. I was just, um, I mean, I didn't know if there was just something. Well, my question is, I was wondering if there was something important or urgent that the angels would like for me to know. Well, the the thing. Hi, Allison. The hi. thing I saw. I saw a bunch of paperwork or documents. I, I, there's something about paperwork. I heard, wait, so, don't do the paperwork yet. Like, whatever it is, I just saw, I, I'm not sure uh, what the documents are or papers are. It almost could even be a paper, like a, like a written paper. I don't know. It says, wait, don't do it yet. So oh, the only thing I can think about was, Tax. I'm a teacher and I was just asking my friend earlier today if because I usually go to the library to get help with my taxes and you know all that stuff is closed now and and she was like well I wouldn't worry about it and I said well I don't know if I don't know and so I don't know if it's about taxes or whatever documents were on the table right now like something like a document whatever's on the table right now and if that's the only thing wait there's there's going to be some more instruction about that oh okie dokie i i don't know i guess taxes i guess i got to keep in, you know teaching those kids so, <laughs> 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 so I, i'm i'm gonna ask them if they're talking about the taxes and then sit on it and wait so i guess i heard yes so it doesn't mean you have to wait till after April 15th, but don't do it this weekend. Wait for more information. Now, Angel said that there's some big information coming around the 13th, where that was good news for all of us. Um, so, I guess it heavy. Yeah, that could affect her and her paperwork and taxes. So I don't know if you could wait till actually wait till the 13th 
Does that feel right, John, for her? I mean, it's really close. But. I, it does feel right. And I had the same situation around taxes for me also. It's like, don't worry about it because I've got tax paperwork on my desk also. And I get, nope, wait, something's going to change. Something's going to happen. Just wait. So I don't know. It could have something to do with our current situation. I don't know. I'm not okay. saying all that about but that's been my guidance. <laughs> They're going to give us more time. I just heard that. We'll yeah. get more time. Yeah, could be you guys are, more than, yeah. Well, that was, a, I know it's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things, but I just, being, a, I guess, a little teacher and wanting to do the right thing. Allison, I have to tell you, it is a big deal because what it's also doing, the IRS comes in with a lot of energy for a lot of people that involves fear, that involves over-responsibility, that involves around scarcity. And so to shift that framing of fear into a postponed date where we're more integrated and not so immersed in the fear of paying money, the fear of having repercussions if we don't do it the right way, the right. fear that we did something wrong. Um, yeah. It's a huge shift yeah. in what we get to receive and how we get to receive it collectively and individually. Uh, so it is a big deal. And I'm so glad that you brought it up. Thank you guys. You guys are awesome. And the angels are awesome. And I greatly appreciate it. <laughs> oh. oh my God. So good. Thank you so much. Awesome. awesome. Debbie, I know we're running a little bit over and I, I'm just compelled to take this question and, and I hope it's okay. Um, but oh, it's, fine. it's fine. Awesome. Um, Sherry writes, um, Casey, my mom's cat hasn't eaten in four days. Help. Mm. Oh, the first thing I thought felt just now was a hairball. The like, there's something stuck in in the like. I, the the kitty cat needs to go to the vet. There's something in the in the. There's a hairball or like a like something stuck in in the in the mouth or in the esophagus. Uh, get it to the vet asap something stuck and you so do that and i feel it in my sternum also you I know. Know. yeah wow I don't like it. i'm sorry yeah <laughs> i vet, feel get the key to the vet. yeah wow Ooh, okay i'm 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 plugging from that right now i got i felt that so strongly uh yeah. God, this is so cool again y'all special offer of debbie you know where to find it uh session Two modules on there, the sound bowl healings, the past life regression. Um, get booked. Get on there on the special offer link. And we'll send the replay link out a little bit later this evening. It took a while to get the replay out last night because so many people are using Zoom right now because there's so many teleconferences happening. So we'll try to get the link out as quickly as we can. Um, hopefully, it'll render a little bit faster tonight. We'll cross our fingers. But know that that's coming out, and we'll send an email out with that link a little bit later tonight. Um, you may want to check your spam folder, some of y'all, if it shows up um, in spam, just make sure you put us on the list that you can receive your, our email so that you can have access to these calls over and over again. Um, and Debbie, you're just freaking awesome. It is so much fun being in this energy with you and, and, and you're so generous with allowing me to, to chime in with what I'm picking up also. So thank you. Oh, I love it. Uh, it's good. Where? <laughs> <laughs> So. Wonderful. wonderful call of all of y'all it's again thank you so much for for adding all of your energies uh and these video calls i love seeing y'all on video it makes me so happy uh, yeah. so thank you all for showing up thank you for sharing your love your energy and, and your questions because we all grow up in them um and it's with that that i bow to each and every one of you namaste send you all a huge hug all my love and look forward to seeing you on the next call. And Debbie, again, amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, John. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.